It's been a long day, a week, a month, a year, a decade. From time to time, we all need to just touch some space sim grass and reflect. Space sims have changed in this time quite a bit. We all need to just sit down and sniff those hyper polygons of Star Citizen, despite how much the grass cost. And we should also point pointlessly to the pointy grass of Elite Dangerous, despite its inherent pointlessness with those crooked space legs. Then, of course, we also should point to some grass-looking grass in No Man's Sky that grew out of the least fertile ground possible, yet now is the lushest field around, much like Elon Musk's scalp. And, of course, there's the lesser-known grass you can find in outer wilds that deserves your touch. And what about the highly precise simulation of Kerbal Space Program's grass? It's certainly very accurately simulated. Let's not forget Everspace uh, and its rather explodable grass either. In the last 10 years, there have been many new ways that space dads could finally touch some grass after years of being locked in their spacey ships. All sorts of grass can be touched, stroked, rendered and observed. You know, there is a benefit to experiencing more than just your favorite grass. You may gain some perspective. Well, unless you're hitting that X4 Foundation space grass, that one's a bit different.